At first it was dark. I couldn't remember the where, how, when of the situation. A sudden strike of terror and claustrophobia went through me as I realized I was alone and locked in for the night in the dark and silent library. My spine started to tingle and it slowly started to come back to me. I was so tired that evening but she insisted she wanted to go. I told her I would just leave her at the door and she had to make it back on her own. Reluctantly, she agreed. I went in for just a moment. It was much more cozy in there than the chilling shards of snowy wind outside. The peace and the quiet calmed me down so much. Not willing to face the blizzard again so soon, I started to browse. I must have passed out from exhaustion on the carpet somewhere in the back and must have missed the everybody out announcement. I shook off my anxiety. What was I, six? Hello! I shouted for the night watchman. No answer. Now I was beginning to see better as my eyes got accustomed to the dark. I felt my way to the center where the reading tables were. I turned on a few lamps at the tables. This calmed me down a bit. Claustrophobia had completely subsided. They had turned the heat off for the night and the cold was starting to get to me. I checked my watch. 2 a.m. I went to the front door. The back doors, the offices, the men's and ladies' rooms. They were all locked. I shouted for the night watchman a few more times, but to no avail. I found my coat at the front door. Perhaps the cold wasn't going to be as big of a problem after all. All of a sudden, my heart jumped to my throat. What was that? <laughs> my stupid imagination was getting to me. What was it? The night watchman? Someone else? Something else? I tried to shake the feeling. Muffled creaks and moans came from all around me. Howls. Uh, must be the wind, right? No, nothing to worry about, I hope. My anxiety was getting to me again. My throat was so dry it was like a cactus was stuck in there. I hid under the librarian's table. I heard in the distance. I couldn't take any more. I must have fainted. They woke me up the next morning, still under the table. Gave the cleaner quite a scare, I did. The guard offered me some coffee. I gopped it down, still trying to figure out what happened. I told them about the noises, the creaks, thuds, and howls, and they laughed it off. How old are you, man? This is an old building and does that sort of stuff during storms and blizzards. They all do. I'm not worried, but I'll calm down, they said. Easier said than done. She laughed, too. Calm down. It was just your imagination going wild. Be as it may, you won't find me near that place again. Period.